Today, we're broadcasting from Palo Alto, California, in the very heart of the Silicon Valley. Palo Alto has been the birthplace of some of the world's leading technology and life science companies, making Palo Alto the startup capital of the world. Welcome to a new edition of Ask a Silicon Valley Lawyer. I'm Louis Lo. Today, I want to talk to you about a topic that I'm particularly passionate about, and that is going global. Whether you have an enterprise SaaS product, a consumer internet product, an e-commerce platform, whether you've developed a molecule that could become a pharmaceutical product to cure one of life's diseases, your technology has global application and so does your business and you need advisors that can help take your business global. So what does taking your business global mean? It, it means setting up business in another country with a legal structure, a financial structure, intellectual property protection, employment, contractors, distributors, suppliers, manufacturing, what have you. Uh, it means entering the stream of commerce. Whether you're an American company seeking to access the European markets or you're an Asian company seeking to access the US markets, we think about the same things. How do you legally set up business responsibly and intelligently? Um, the choices are as follows. One, you can do business directly in that country, um, but if you do through your, your one uh, corporate entity, uh, you're exposing your one corporate entity to liability of that country. Uh, and that could be uh, exposing your uh, global revenues to the tax authorities in France, uh, or it could be exposing your uh, Asian revenue to uh, the uh, applicability of the Internal Revenue Service. So we want to think about how do we access a market in the most intelligent legal fashion. So you can go direct, although you may not want to. If it's just for one transaction, probably going direct is fine. If you think you're going to be going uh, again and again, however, uh, you're going to want to think about, do you set up a, a, a branch, a local branch in a country of your corporate entity? Do you set up a, a subsidiary? Uh, do you yourself form an entity that is affiliated with your company but not a direct subsidiary? Um, does the country in question require that you have a local shareholder, a local director? Uh, do they require that you have a joint venture partner? Do they require that you transfer intellectual property? Do they require citizenship uh, or other permission to work of, of individuals? These are all things that have to be planned out and a good global advisor can help you do that. Many companies, when they set up to go global, will go with a chartered accounting firm um, who can do certain outsourced business activities, and sometimes that will make sense. Sometimes, however, your business is going to require a much more thoughtful process with a local law firm that's well ensconced with the local regulators, that understands uh, the, the government permissions that are going to be required in the landscape where you're going to go do business. Another question I get is, how do you employ people? Are they consultants or employees? Can a branch do that or do you have to have a corporate entity? Um, what if you have capital requirements in that country? How do you get capital in? How do you get capital out? Uh, these are all important questions. Going global is the key to success for your business. Do it, do it right. Whatever are your politics, U.S. companies need global markets, global markets need access to the U.S. market, and going global is a key to the future value of your business, it's key to having an exit, and it's key to creating wealth. Whether you're a non-U.S. business coming to America or a local Silicon Valley company looking to cross the ocean, going global can be the most exciting part of the adventure in your business. If I can help you answer any of these questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm Louis Leo. 